Hi guys, Marilla Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome to Instagrow. The 33 apps to take your Instagram and Insta stories to the next level. Um, I was only actually gonna include this video in the actual ebook and module and not like present it on my YouTube. But I thought, you know what? This is like a good little preview because I dropped some gems in this module. And so I'm just gonna offer this module, um, how to increase your visibility on Instagram and Insta stories for free in hopes that you will go and buy my Insta Grow ebook. Um, it's a new ebook. It has a uh, video modules in it that will help you. It also has um, just different chapters. Let me go through the chapters with you all since this is pretty much going to be like a promotional video. So the first chapter is everything worth knowing about Instagram from security to insights and analytics. We have a chapter on how to tailor your bio and profile to make a lasting impression, how to increase visibility on Instagram and Insta stories, and that is what this video will touch on. Um, we have how to increase followers and engagement on Instagram and Insta stories. There is a video that goes with that as well, not on this channel, guys, only for people who actually buy the ebook. A word about buying followers, likes, and engagement, as well as loop giveaways and comment pods. Just a few things you should know from a brand standpoint about those things. How to promote your brand, business, or blog on Instagram and Insta Stories. That also has a video module. How to drive sales and make money using Instagram and Insta stories with affiliate affiliate marketing as well as how to work with brands via Instagram and Insta stories. Both of those combined have a video module that I'm telling you everything. The affiliate networks to join, what to charge for a post, how to figure out what to charge for any kind of Instagram collaboration, um, how to make money from Instagram, what um, affiliate networks to join to make money, what online apps you can join to make money on Instagram. So many tips and I'm giving it all to you guys in this new ebook, Instagrow. Okay, then there's another chapter about everything you need to know about presets and feed themes along with some of my favorite presets. And then we get straight to the 33 apps you can use to take your Instagram and Insta stories to the next level. And these apps include photo editing apps, photo and video sizing apps, Insta story template apps, royalty free music for in feed videos um, and for your Insta stories, text and calligraphy apps so you apps so you can add text to your photos, add text to your Insta stories and to your IGTV videos, feed planner apps that help you put your feed together easily, um, and apps to monetize your Instagram. These are apps that you can join that um, connect brands with influencers and creatives to collaborate and they pay. So we are going to get into the first module, which is how to increase visibility on Instagram and Insta stories. That's what this video is going to be all about. It's public. Anyone can watch it. Please like if you learn something from this video and if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more of my fashion related things but I think also I'm gonna start doing more blogger videos I have a whole section on my blog fashion still NYC dedicated to blogger tips I mean I've been blogging since 2010 if you need the tips I got the tips so I'll put a link below to all of the blog tips that are already listed on my website and if you are interested in this new ebook that I'm dropping I have a ton of ebooks actually about blogging on my Etsy shop and a ton of pitch templates, how to pitch to blogs, I mean how to pitch to brands for collaborations, how to get free hotel stays, how to leverage your social media for sponsored travel, um, how to borrow clothes and pull clothes from designers, um, just everything you need to know about pitching to brands and about blogging. 
you can check out my Etsy shop. Um, there's a link to that below. But about this Instagrow ebook, it is 20 pages chock full of everything I know about Instagram and how I make money. Details about a web through Instagram and Insta stories and um, like how I figure out how much to charge for those things. So if you're interested in any of those topics, you need to go ahead and buy my Instagrow ebook, which just dropped. There is a link below. Now let's go ahead and get into increasing uh, your visibility on Instagram and Insta stories. So let's get into it. Um, this is my second Instagram ebook. Um, these are my first modules. Uh, this is Insta Grow, where I will give you the 30 apps to take your Instagram and Insta stories to the next level, and where I will also give you tips and tricks to grow and monetize your Instagram. Okay, so right now I'm sitting at like, I don't know, 25.3 thousand followers. Um, I have steadily grown anywhere from 100 to 300 followers on average per week every week for the last four months um so i would say in the next three to five months i will probably hit close to 30,000 followers i could pretty much put money on it that i will which is great because that is my goal um i when i went full time how many followers did i have I think I had about 21,000 followers when I went full time. Um, I've been a full time blogger for the last six months and it's been awesome. I would say about 75% of the money that I make from blogging comes from Instagram. And what I mean by that is doing brand collaborations uh, with Instagram deliverables meaning a brand reaches out to me they tell me they want me to promote their product they want me to wear their product they want me to try their product they want me to phot photograph their product make a video including their product or about their product and post it on my instagram account for xyz amount of money and those are instagram collaborations brands will pay you to post a picture Brands will pay you to post a video. Brands will pay you to post a carousel. Brands will pay you to post Insta stories um, with swipe up links or if you don't have the swipe up link to just add their brand in the Insta stories. Um, brands will pay you to put a link to their product or store in your bio for a certain amount of time. Brands will pay you to put a highlights in your highlights on your profile for a certain amount of time. Brands will pay you to do an Instagram um, TV video that is sponsored by them. I mean, the, the, the collaboration opportunities through Instagram are endless. <laughs> and I just named pretty much every single way that you can monetize your Instagram by working with brands. The number one way I work with brands through Instagram is uh, Instagram posts. They would like pictures. They want you to post a picture on your Instagram account or um, Insta stories with a swipe up link to their brand. Unfortunately, the swipe up link only comes when you make 10,000 followers. So if you are in this business, um, and you want to go full-time I would not advise going full-time at all until you have the ability to utilize the swipe up link um, that's just a rule of thumb so this first module if you already have read uh, the first couple of chapters of insta grow this first module is all about how to increase visibility on Instagram and Insta stories. And sorry, I'm like looking over here at my book <laughs> because I'm trying to stay on topic here and include everything that's relevant in its uh, proper module spot. So how to increase visibility on Instagram and Insta stories. 
go ahead and get your notebook out because I'm about to drop some knowledge on you. Okay, so the thing with Instagram is that you have to promote your Instagram. I know some people are very humble. They feel like, oh, I don't need to promote it that much. I don't want to tell many people about it. Well, if you're trying to make a business out of whatever it is you're doing, if you're trying to promote your business, you need to be on Instagram for sure. And you need to promote the hell out of your, out of your Instagram, okay? So, this is how people find you if you have a website a business website a blog um anything of that sort you need to have a link to your instagram on your website you know the little instagram symbol people could just click and go to your instagram that's a way to promote yourself so go ahead and immediately put your instagram and on any platform that you have um on your blog on your website on your business website if you have a linkedin account which you should you need to have a link there to your instagram if you have a youtube channel there's an option for you to add all of your social media in the upper right hand corner of your profile you can add your instagram to that you can also add your instagram in your bio you have to promote your instagram nobody's just gonna find you i mean they're not unless you're like a very well-known brand or celebrity no one is just gonna know what your at is you have to promote it um the way that i promoted my instagram is that i have it on all of my websites i have a link that you can click to get to my instagram from all of my websites I have a link um, to my Instagram from my Pinterest account. Pinterest is very important because people are always on Pinterest looking up stuff, making little pins. Um, you can get repinned thousands of times and get a lot more um, recognition. So you need to attach your Instagram to your Pinterest, attach, attach your Instagram to your LinkedIn. Any website, any social that you have outside of Instagram needs to have your Instagram information in it. That's just a must okay next how to get visibility while you're actually inside the app on instagram how do you get people to see your account to see your pictures to find you and the number one thing is hashtags i know people hate hashtags like they can look so messy especially in a caption but they are very necessary um and one of my last pictures, I think I even put it in the ebook for you guys that I did wearing this top from Primark. Um, I got over 5,000 views from hashtags alone. 5,000 views from hashtags alone. I mean, that's 5,000 people who would have never seen that post, who would have never knew who I was if it wasn't for my hashtags so yes they are important i would suggest writing out your caption putting a few dots or smiley faces or squiggly lines or whatever floats your boat and then putting your um hashtags i would say anywhere from 12 to 17 hashtags is probably about the sweet spot i think where a lot of people make mistakes is that they just put a bunch of hashtags like in their notes and they just copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste copy and paste those sets of hashtags to each photo that's not good for some reason instagram hates that they're gonna push your photos down they're gonna think maybe you're some kind of spam bot the best way to instagram is i mean to hashtag your instagram post is on the fly okay look at your picture what is your picture talking about what are you wearing in your picture what is the picture of hashtag that um you can use a few generic ones like me i'm always gonna use nyc fashion blogger nyc blogger because i know that brands out there are looking for that and there aren't more than 200,000 hashtags with that in it um so i can still use that and not be seen as like spam but anything else you have to make it relevant to your caption you have to make it relevant to your photo if you are wearing this top 
in your photo say this is the picture i'm here in my office in my clothes in my primark um mint top i'm gonna hashtag mint sweater hashtag primark hashtag clothes hashtag office um hashtag melanin blogger hashtag it's a wig like you have to go based on what is actually in your photo or what's actually in your caption you cannot keep using the same generic sets of hashtag for each photo don't do it you heard it here first okay so yeah use those hashtags because they work you can also use hashtags in your bio a lot of people are doing it now I even have hashtags in my bio hashtag fashion hashtag fashion blogger hashtag NYC it helps <coughs> give it a try also oh what you can also do to kind of promote your Instagram more sorry guys this is a little informal so I'm gonna have a drink don't worry it's pressed juice what you can do to make yourself more visible um, as far as your bio is to include any accolades you have in your bio. A lot of fashion bloggers have a few things like featured in at Vogue magazine, featured in at Refinery29. Like one or two of those is really great, especially if you've been featured somewhere cool. That people love to see that. And that automatically gives you some legitimacy. And also to reach a wider audience, hashtags, but also geotags. People always forget about geotags. They don't think it like really matters. You know, when you tag where you are in your photo, I always use New York City um, or Harlem or Manhattan, New York so that people in my area can find me. Um, but if you're in a specific place like a restaurant or a hotel, definitely geotag because you will live in that geotag forever. <laughs> I mean, it's free advertising for you and then you know that people are gonna be searching those geotags to learn more about that place. For instance, um, let's say public hotel um, downtown New York City they have an amazing rooftop bar everybody goes to that rooftop bar you go to that bar you take a picture there you definitely should use that geo tag because anytime someone goes to look for information about that place your picture is there and who knows they might see the picture they might like it they might follow you it's all more ways to increase your visibility so I'm gonna Take a sip of this, and then we're gonna move on to how to increase your visibility on Insta Stories. And a lot of it is the same. Give me a second. All right, guys, sorry about the noise. I do live in New York City. It is hella loud in my neighborhood. So let's move on to increasing your visibility on Insta Stories. Here's the thing Instagram is cool and all, but Insta Stories is definitely dominating instagram at this time people connect more through video than they do just looking at uh, a static picture which is why currently at the moment as of april what's today first second instagram is really favoring igtv videos they're even pushing the videos out bumping them up to the top of your feed um also including them in your feed so that people can can see them so video is a huge deal. More and more brands, I will say every brand that I've worked with for an Instagram collabor collaboration, not only do they want static photos on my Instagram feed, they also want a set or three to five Instagram stories to go along with that, somehow promoting their brand and using static photos and video with swipe up links in insta stories i don't think i've done a collaboration recently that did not include both an instagram photo and also uh insta stories and a word about charging whatever you charge for a static instagram photo um 
half of that amount is what you would charge for a set of three so three to five insta stories yeah that's my rule of thumb it works pretty good for me unless they need more than that then that's up to you to decide but that's how i do it my insta stories are half of what my instagram feed post fee is okay so insta stories is where it's at you should definitely be insta storying um i hate when like somebody who i love their photos on instagram never post stories i'm like what are you doing i need to see i mean i know it's kind of invasive but uh it's just i have to know and i know if i feel that way that a lot of other people feel that way and if you want to be visible if you want to actually grow your instagram you have to utilize all tools of instagram i.e you need to post photos on your instagram account consistently and regularly you need to do insta stories consistently and regularly you need to utilize the instagram tv feature regularly instagram favors accounts that use all three on a regular basis so just make yourself do them <laughs> start with a few a day if you do not feel comfortable on screen um on camera you will get good at it within a month's time of talking to your phone and that's coming from someone who used to never do insta stories in public Ever. I would never walk down the street with my phone like this and do Insta stories. It took nearly a year for me to get used to doing that, but I'm better for it because I'm growing so much faster because of it. Also, I'm doing more vlogs, so I have to like go out and have my vlog camera in front of me too. But yeah, get over it. <laughs> I mean, if you're shy, this is not the business for you. You have to push yourself. Um, usually being a little uncomfortable leads to growth. It definitely did in my case. So yeah, you should be posting Insta stories. Posting helps your visibility. Secondly, I would say, I mean, you post as much as you want a day. I don't think there's too many sometimes it'll look like little ants crawling and i'm just like i don't know if i want to watch all this but if i don't i just tap through it like as as many as you want the more the merrier but i would say the sweet spot would be anywhere between 10 and 25 stories a day <laughs> i usually do about 25 to 30 a day and um, I get a good amount of views. So I think it's just about being engaging, showing people what you're doing, um, not being boring, um, and just being authentic. Like, it's okay if you mispronounce words. It's okay if you have an accent. It's okay if you accidentally burped right in the middle of an Insta story. Just like, leave it in. Like, people love that stuff. Like, just be authentic, be yourself. Talk to the camera like you're talking to your best friend. And y'all are kikiing it up. Like, that's all you gotta do. Now, strategically getting more vi visibility on your Insta stories, hashtags. I don't know why people don't utilize hashtags on Insta stories as much, but you definitely should. I get an average of 300 to 500 additional views on my insta stories just by using the hashtag new york city literally i put hashtag new york city on just about every insta story i do and just from doing that i get anywhere from 300 to 500 additional page views it's insane and it's awesome okay not only am i reaching people in my area who are more likely to follow me on Instagram, I'm getting like tons of new eyes on me. So the same way you would kind of tailor your hashtags to your Instagram post to increase visibility, you should do the same thing with your Insta stories. Every, almost every morning I dance on my Insta stories while I make Nespresso coffee. Hashtag Nespresso. Um, I've literally gotten about 2,000 
followers over perhaps the last year just from using the hashtag Nespresso and dancing. Most people will tell me, oh my God, I found you on the Nespresso hashtag and now I have to watch you dance every morning while you make your Nespresso. I have definitely increased value in Nespresso as a business. I'm pretty sure I've sold at least 500 units over the last year. No, I'm just joking. And yes, I do work with Nespresso. I already had my Nespresso machine. My ex-boyfriend bought it for me. It was the best thing he ever did for my relationship. But uh, they do send me all kinds of like gifts every, every month and invite me to cool events as well as send me free coffee. So I rarely have to buy it. So it's pretty awesome. And also just doing that actually put me on their radar, and which is how they found me. So making sure you're hashtagging your Insta stories is a huge deal. Not too many hashtags. I find that if you put more than three hashtags in your Insta stories that it's not as effective. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. Sometimes you won't get any additional views, but it's worth it to still hashtag um so that you're more visible so let's say i'm a fashion blogger in my story i could put hashtag fashion blogger that story is going to then show up in the hashtag fashion blogger story you guys know that hashtags have their own stories now that people can subscribe to and watch i've gotten tons of people who are actually looking for fashion bloggers just by tagging my insta stories with the hashtag fashion blogger so so let's say you're a designer um hashtag designer people who are looking for designers they are going to see your story the great thing about that is that your story lives in that hashtag story for a full 24 hours imagine if only four people put hashtag fashion blogger in their story for the day how many eyes that's going to get on you like it's pretty incredible it's free advertising for you and for your brand and for yourself so you should definitely be hashtagging your stories a lot of people like to hide the hashtag like they make it really small and put it right up in the corner or they make it like clear or they blend it in with the background so that you don't see the hashtag at all that's all fine and dandy but I wouldn't take that route that's actually what I used to do and I found that doing that was not as effective as actually making the hashtag big enough for people to see putting it in a color for people to see and making it big enough that people can click on that because that's just more engagement for you and you want to keep your engagement high so i don't care it might look a little messy but i just try and make it so that the hashtag can be seen as well as the hashtag is clickable all right let's see anything else oh for insta stories make sure you turn on sharing for your insta stories yeah it used to actually bother me when i would see that people would share my stories because i'm like are they sharing it to their like secret group chat and like talking all kinds of mess about me that's probably not the case they're probably sharing it to to promote you to say oh wow look at this like you should follow this person it, even if it's bad press even if they are like talking mess about you i mean it's still engagement your story is being shared that's amazing that's more eyes on your content um so definitely go into your settings turn on your share stories so that people can share your stories and also if you like mention a brand that and you add them in in your stories also yes you should be adding people in your stories as well so that they see it brands love that and a brand sees that you added them in their stories and they like the stories they can send it to whoever i mean you never know so definitely make sure you are hashtagging your stories no more than three and make it visible um make sure you're adding all relevant people in your stories especially brands and places as well as geotags the same thing with geotagging you can people are going to search that geotag they can find your story okay yeah 
and a little word about uh, swipe up links. If you have more than 10,000 followers, you should definitely be utilizing your swipe up link. I don't care if you don't even have a business. Like, <laughs> if you are wearing something in your Insta stories and people are like, oh, what's that like that you're wearing? Why not just go ahead and put like a link to the product so people can swipe up and go to it? This will do nothing but make people trust you. And trust and loyalty and viewership and followers is what you want. At. So that, that's what you want to have. Um, it's great to have a shit ton of followers. It's amazing. If those followers aren't, you know, doing anything that is actually... If you're not influencing them to do anything other than like your picture, that's not influencing. Um, you want to get them to see your product, your website, um, anything that you have going on. So if you have the swipe up feature and you're not utilizing it, you're doing a, yourself and the people who follow you a huge disservice. Like. People love inter interaction. So if you can provide something um, that makes you, you know, that gives you a one up versus someone who can't provide anything. So definitely use the swipe up link and don't be afraid to use it either. I am the link, the swipe up link queen. I probably put a swipe up link in every other thing. Um, and that's all about promotion, but we'll get to that in the promotion um, module. So let me just make sure that that's everything I wanted to talk about. It is. <sighs> so that was a word on increasing your visibility on Instagram and Insta stories. And that's it. Make sure to watch the other modules. They're all pretty good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Increasing your Insta your visibility on instagram and insta stories i hope you learned something if you did don't forget to like like and subscribe i'm gonna start a new um blogger tips thread down in like the rest of my videos where i'll be adding more and more blog tips and if you want to know more go ahead and purchase my Insta Grow ebook, the 33 apps to take your Instagram and Insta stories to the next level, along with video modules, tips and tricks to just help you get ahead with Instagram. Okay, okay, there's a link to it below. Go ahead and purchase that ebook. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned. We're gonna do more, more of this blog stuff soon. Bye guys.